Uh, by the way, how many of you use Python or your team use Python to extract data? All right, many of you. And how many of you use, uh, let's say, Java? Few of you and uh, other, like not Python, not Java. And uh, what do you use? If I JavaScript. All right, all right. So we have uh, we have uh, these uh, libraries and. Um, uh, just my personal opinion, and from my experience, I've been, exp uh, I've been doing a lot of scraping in Python and in Java. And uh, from my experience, um, the best, if we want to look, if we want to look at it from this perspective, the best programming language is Python for web scraping, not just because of the language itself, but because there are many open source and there are many tools that are already there, they are already present, with, and uh, with Python, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, so, the, 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 yeah, so now there, there's a question like how to deal with the whole chaos? How to actually live in that, uh, in that jungle? So the rule number one is probably basic, like use good tools, like use the frameworks that are really well tested. So a good scraping library will always allow you to avoid the problems that you're going to run into anyway. Like typical use cases, very basic, are duplicate requests. So uh, you see a website is broken and it generates hundreds of links which, links which are leading to the same place. So a good scraping library should probably allow you to deal with that pro problem. And you know, those cases are probably ha happening like once in 10 or once in 20 or once in 100 websites, right? So when you're using some library that doesn't handle that, you may discover it at some point and you know, you're going to run into some trouble. So, but of course, like if 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 you if you don't if you don't really need to scale, maybe that, that maybe it's not that important. But if you're really expecting to scale, a good scraping library is probably something that is really necessary. And the other rule is make really sure you validate everything when you expect something specific like price information. Do not assume that it's going to be something that. Uh, that is going to be a number. If you, for example, if you're looking for some offerings, some promotions, uh, there are really all sorts of unusual things that can happen. So for example, uh, you might assume that if there is promotion and there is some price in the past, price was and price now, so probably if it's promotion, price was should be higher, right? But that's not what happens. And sometimes you can find cases when you have a store selling something and it says that it was cheaper in the past, but now it's more expensive, right? Because of some uh, design bug. So, uh, so it's important to really validate all the data you have. Oh. Hmm. Sorry. All right, yeah, and the final rule I wanted to really advise you is that um, you should really think about what's going to happen when you fail. Um, because failure is part of web, part of the web, right? Uh, due to the char character of the web, uh, failure is probably going to happen. So you should always try to ensure that when you write code, write code that it's not going to cause any mayhem in your business or in the website. Mm. So you should really not, not trust and not depend on the fact that the spider will work fine in, in the future. Uh, yeah, typical examples of, of failures I've seen uh, are, for example, retries. So you write code that repeats requests. Say you have a spider and uh, you see that there's something unusual that turns up, like one, one request, but not all of them. So you think, okay, I'll repeat the request. And then you think, okay, I'll repeat it again. <laughs> and then you write code that makes 10, 10 retries and next week the website changes, and now what you've seen as something unusual is typical, so your website is not, go now is, your spider is not going to make 10 times more requests for every uh, product page, and it might cause problems for website, it might cause problem, problems uh, for you. So these are the most important rules I wanted to say, and thank you very much.